Here in our page component, we're going to scroll down. So the portion that renders existing rooms, we're going to turn this into a new client component. I'm going to remove all the JSX. And then I'm going to replace this with the room list component. This component has a rooms prop. And we're going to prefetch the rooms data from database in the server side. Let's add the logic to query these rooms from server side. So we're going to scroll up. And then I'm going to write const room response equals to await client.query round bracket fql backticks and then room.all. So it's pretty much the same query that was in our fetch rooms function. Since this is not inside a use effect, this is going to be server rendered by default. We also have to remove the use client from the top. So this component becomes a server component. And this function is missing async, so we'll add that as well. Next, we're going to grab the rooms from the rooms response. So I'm going to check if rooms response dot data dot data exist. And if it exists, then we're just going to loop over this array. And for each room, we're going to return the room ID and the name of the room. And if room's response doesn't return anything, then we're simply just going to return an empty array. Under components, we'll create a new file called roomList.js. And let's create the component. I'll write export default function room list. And we're going to return some JSX here. We're going to return a simple div. Inside the div, we have a header that says all rooms. And then we're going to loop over all the rooms And for each room, we're just going to return a link to that room, just like how we had it in the other component. And we'll also import the link from Next.js here. Next, we'll pop open the terminal and make sure the application is running. Now, if we go back to our browser and in our app, we'll see some errors. And this is perfectly fine because we're refactoring. Now, this particular error is trying to tell us that we're trying to import user state in a component which is not a client component. And this is coming from source app page.js file. So we're going to go ahead and fix this. Now, back in our page component, we'll just remove the imports from React. And let's remove these user states that we don't need. And we're going to remove the use ref as well. Now we also have this fetch rooms function and this use effect here that we can also move to our room list component. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to cut this code block and paste it back in our room list component. And let's turn room list component into a client component. And we're also going to import use effect and use a state from React. And then destructure the rooms props here that is passed from our page component. And then we're going to create a state variable called existing rooms. And we will set the initial value of existing rooms to the rooms props. And then we're also going to create a stream ref variable using use ref. And then let's import client and FQL from Fauna and initialize a new Fauna client. Next, we're going to go to our JSX and switch the rooms to existing rooms state variable. And then back in our fetch rooms function, we don't have to do the room.all query because we're already going to prefetch all the rooms in the server side and pass it to this component. So we can simply get rid of this. 
So back in our browser, we're getting a different error now. And it's saying that we're trying to use client before it is initialized. So let's go ahead and take care of this problem. So we're gonna go back to our page component and we're going to initialize the fauna client at the top of our function. Now going back to our browser, we see there's another error, and this time it's complaining about the room name state variable, so we don't have this state variable anymore. So we're gonna go back to our page component, and in the form, we're gonna navigate to the input, and we're going to delete the value and on change handler from this input. Now we can submit this form server site. So I'm going to change on submit in the form element to action. And we don't need the prevent default here anymore. And we change the param name to form data. And we'll add the word use server. That way Next.js will know that this is a server action. And then we're gonna write const room name equals to form data dot get room name. So this room name comes from our input element. So we're gonna give our input element a name, which is gonna be room name. And back in our browser here, and I think we forgot to import the room list component in our page component. So let's go ahead and fix that. So in the page component, we're just going to import the room list component. Now it looks like we still have one more error. It can't find use ref in our room list component. And again, getting errors like this is fine, especially when we're refactoring. So we're gonna go back to our room list component and import use ref from React. Now, if we go back to our browser, we will not get any errors. However, if we try to create a new room, we're gonna get this error. So basically, it can't find the fauna client in the server action. So let's go ahead and fix this. So we'll go back to our page component. We're gonna define the fauna client inside create new room function after the use server keyword. That way the server action will have access to it. Let's format the code a little bit. And now we should be able to create a new room.